that's what they have to do. They don't have quads and mm -hmm. uh, really hardly any triple axles. So it's it's to get that technical bump, it's all about the triple triple in this event. Okay, so no Evgenia Medvedeva, the reigning world and European champion, but there's other Russian ladies who say, take a look at me. And one of them is Maria Sotskova, made her senior Grand Prix debut last year, qualified for the Grand Prix final, and continuing that momentum this season. I know Caroline is thinking, she looks like she would be a good ice dancer. Here's her version of the triple triple, and it's a Lutz toe. Adding to the technical aspect, jumping with one arm over her head on both jumps. The system will reward her with a tiny bonus for that effort. doing a pretty good job of skating to Claire de Lune. Beautiful piece of music. You have to absolutely trust every edge and be so patient to make this music sing. She skates it very well, but to me, that this is almost where her downfall comes. She doesn't live in the music. When you've watched Carolina first, and then you watch Maria, you can appreciate the technical skating, but the absolute commitment to the performance and the artistry for me is not quite there. She looks like she's learned it very well, mm -hmm. no, but it's not a good job, as natural. I would only choose the best skater for this piece of music. Exactly. That was a pretty great step forward for Maria. Yeah. Just a beautiful skate. I was going to say, so pretty, so pretty to watch. Maria Sotskova, the 17-year-old from Russia, second year on the Senior Grand Prix circuit, second time she has qualified for the Grand Prix final. I'd like to see her skate that in two years, mm -hmm. even better. 
We will have her marks when we return here in Japan for the Grand Prix final. And leading after the short program, there is the Canadian, the world silver medalist, Caitlin Osman. She qualified for the Grand Prix final last year, becoming the first Canadian woman to do so since 2009. But it's been since 2004 that a Canadian woman stood on the Grand Prix final podium. Can Caitlin Osman do it? There is Maria Soskova of Russia, the 17-year-old. She won the Junior Grand Prix final back in 2013. And you know, we've heard this before with skaters. She ended up rocketing in height to five foot seven, had to get used to her body again, and almost thought about quitting. Good thing she didn't. Well, that was a beautiful, calm escape today. The way she entered and exited her jumps had so much quality. Look at that triple flip. Great costume. Just beautiful. The, the, you know what? She really started to make me a believer. I, I, like I said, I would like to see her skate to this music in two years. Yes, yes. Um, but, wow, because she had such quality of her jumps and her spins, and she was quite patient in her choreography, by the end she had created a unit, like a one package, not just a series of elements. And uh, that's hard to do. And who knows, with Medvedeva not being there, maybe that just made her think, oh, you know what? That door just opened a little bit wider and I want to be the one to step through it. Well, she's going to need a score of 140.66 to take the lead. And she will get it 142.28, a season's best for her as well. As we've been watching her progress throughout the last two years, so Maria will currently hold the lead here in the Grand Prix final. And it's pretty amazing, the Russian ladies, and I know oh. we've been discussing the recent IOC news with the banning of Russia from 2018 games, however, letting athletes um, individually. Have, yeah, individually have the ability to compete, and it would be so wonderful because especially the young women on the Russian side have been fantastic 